Today, we're gonna to present to you the Rich Review's top five last minute gifts for the supercar enthusiast. Now the first item on our top five is battery conditioner. Now most sports and supercars come with a base battery conditioner and these battery conditioners are fit for purpose but they don't have any advanced features. We're gonna split this down into two items. We're gonna proffer two items. One is gonna be more of an upgrade to the standard version that you're gonna get with your car. And the second item is gonna be more of an advanced battery conditioner and battery charger. So the first item we're gonna recommend is the SeaTech MXS5. Now the SeaTech MXS5 has additional stages in its end-to-end -end charging cycle. Two such stages, for example, are its desulfation stage and its battery analysis stage. Now the desulfation stage has, as the name suggests, or as the phrase suggests, it has a stage where it looks to clean up the lead acid plates where they've become slightly sulfated, and it can check this by the efficiency of the battery. The analysis stage is where it performs an assessment of the battery after performing its initial charging cycle, and it checks to see if there's any substantial voltage drops, in, in other words, any voltage drains that are going on. Now these voltage drains could be occurred by um, multiple trackers or multiple alarm systems that have been embedded in the system or, or whatever, but they could cause a voltage drop or voltage drain on, on the battery and it'll notice this during its, its downstream assessment cycle. So the MXS5 is an upgraded version of a standard battery and will in effect help to recondition your battery as well as charge it. Now the second battery condition is also a battery charger and this is the SeaTech CS3. Now the SeaTech CS3 has additional advantages over something like the MXS5 in that it provides portability. Now it has an internal battery system that you can recharge remotely and then allows you to take that item to your car and charge your battery or keep your battery conditioned on your car, on your sports car, supercar, without any mains connectivity. The requirement for this of course is where your car is parked, where it doesn't have access to a 13 amp socket. So it could be that your car is stored at a particular location, say an underground car park, and you don't have access to mains. Therefore this battery conditioner the CS3 would be very useful in those locations. It also has the ability to charge your battery from a flat condition, so from a base state, and in effect to act as a jump start. So if your battery has gone completely flat and you need a jump start to get your car going, you can use the CS3 to, to perform that operation which is a great advantage over something like a normal battery conditioner. Not only can you recharge your car with the CS3, but you can also use it as a battery bank because it has USB ports. You can connect your iPhone or your laptop, etc., or any external device that has a USB port that use, that's used for charging, and you can use it to charge up your devices. Okay, so you think, well, the CS3 has substantial advantages over the MXS5. Why are you even proffering the MXS5? Well, that's because the CS3 is around three times the price of the MXS5. So if you only need an updated version of the base standard of battery conditioner, the recommendation would be to buy the MXS5. But if you want that extra operability and you're gonna use that extra operability, then our recommendation would be to buy the CS3. So if you're enjoying the video so far, please make sure you give the video a thumbs up, give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing if you enjoy this format. Now back to the video. Now the next item on our list is a Bluetooth music streaming device. Now most modern supercars and sports cars have Apple CarPlay or Android CarPlay. So you think, okay, well you wouldn't need this streaming device. And I would agree with that unless the interface is extremely poorly designed whereby it's easier to just use a third party streaming device. But for cars such as the Ferrari 458 and earlier cars, there is no such thing as Apple CarPlay as standard. Therefore, you're really stuck with using a music streaming device unless you want to try and use the really terribly designed standard infotainment interface, which is shockingly poor. So for most people with the 458, for example, they use a music streaming device. And the music streaming device I would recommend for 458 owners is the Invery Air Jewel 100. I featured the Invery Air Jewel 100 on a few other videos talking about the infotainment system on the 458, so I'd recommend you check out those videos. It enables you to connect this Invery Air Jewel 100 using its 30 pin interface to the iPod flyout lead, which is located in the 458 glove box. That's if you've chosen the iPod connectivity as one of the options when the car was purchased. Item three on our list of top five last minute gifts is the removable front number plate bracket. Now the item we're gonna recommend here 
is the Carbonio front number plate removable bracket. There's many different types of removable front bracket systems for the number plate and a lot of them are copies of the Carbonio unit. Some of them are totally different design and they're all pretty much of a muchness. They're all very good. But if you're looking at an item that is a copy of a Carbonio unit, I can tell you now the Carbonio unit is far superior. So the others are inferior. And usually they're inferior because they just don't have the same capability of fitting. So they're not as easy to fit to your car. And they're not as simple. The Carbonio unit is light and you can do it with one hand as I show in my video. So we tested the Carbonio unit quite extensively on and off the car while we were driving and while we were static. And I showed you how to put the unit on and off the car very, very easily within seconds, literally within seconds. And it's a very robust unit, very light unit. And as I say, easy to put on and off. So it's great for keeping your car legal while you're driving your car, say to events, and then you can, you can, when you park up at events, you can then remove the unit very easily within seconds, put it in your front storage location. And then when you go to leave, you can just put the item back on again. You can just put the Carbonio unit back on the car again, and you're all nice and legal again. I'll drop a link to our video in the description below, and that video provides you all the details you could possibly want to know about the Carbonio unit. And the penultimate fourth item on our top five last minute gifts is an electronic tire pressure gauge. The gift item I'm gonna recommend here is the Astro AI Digital Tire Pressure Gauge. Now the Astro AI Digital Tire Pressure Gauge has some really cool features. Number one, it's very robustly built out of stainless steel. Number two, its design is such like it's designed like a screwdriver, so it aids functionality, aids the ability for you to push it onto your tire valve securely so that you get an accurate reading. It also has a very legible LCD screen, so you can again get an accurate reading of your tire pressure. It also has quite a cool additional feature. It has a built-in torch. That makes it very user-friendly for using both day and night. So if, for example, you're driving your car, say the steering becomes a bit vague and you feel that that may be due to the tires being under pressure, they may be losing air, for example, or you may feel that they're losing air, to quickly check, you can take the Astro AI out and you can go and check your tire pressures. The light will shine away so you can easily connect the unit to your tire valves. Not only that, but the Astro AI also comes with its own battery. So you don't even have to buy batteries for it. And at only 16 pounds, it's a no brainer guys. Just buy yourself the Astro AI, it's only 16 pounds and it's nice and easy, has its own flashlight. It's just very easy to use and it's robustly built. Now it's very important that tires are inflated to correct tire pressure both for legal reasons and for safety reasons. A lot of people don't realize, but if their tires aren't inflated to correct tire pressure within, within a certain tolerance, then the car isn't perceived to be roadworthy. And if the car isn't roadworthy, you can be fined. So it is a legal, there is a legal requirement there as well as, as a safety requirement. And also if the tires aren't at the correct tire pressure, you'll get uneven wear patterns and you'll wear, in effect, you'll wear out your tires more quickly. For example, if the tires are overinflated, the center section of the tires will wear out a lot quicker than the external areas because the tire will be overinflated, the center section will be pushing out more and we'll, we'll have a, a more definitive contact with the road. Contrary to that, if you have the tires underinflated, then the external areas, the, the outer edges areas of the tires will, be, will, will induce more wear and the center sections won't get so much wear. So the tires will be worn more on the outside edges. So you can see there's multiple benefits to having your tires set to the correct tire pressures. Now, I know for a fact, very few supercar owners, which is shocking really when you think about it, check their tire pressures on a regular basis. Now, supercar owners need to be more vigilant in this area. Supercar owners, sports car owners, any, any owner of cars, when they're not driving these cars regularly, need to be a lot more vigilant in this. Now, if you're driving the car regularly, I would recommend you check your tire pressures about every week or so. That should be fine, unless you've got problems with the tires where they're losing air, for example, in which case you should obviously check your tire pressures a lot more regularly. And of course, you should get that problem remediated. But with supercar owners, typically the cars are stored for substantial periods of time and the cars were only driven sporadically. So in those circumstances, my recommendation would be that you should be checking your tire pressures every single time you drive your car because you're not driving them regularly. For example, if you're driving your car, say around once every three weeks, then you should be checking those tire pressures every single time you drive your car especially after a car's been laid up for a period of time, say for winter storage. I'm sure people are saying, okay, we've got tire pressure management system, a TPMS system, which is in effect sensors in the tires, which send information to a console, so to your screen, to your dashboard screen, to tell you the tire pressures. And yes, that is all well and good, and it is a good way of keeping track of your tire pressures, but those systems aren't as accurate as you think they are. And a lot of cars don't have those TPMS systems. So my recommendation would still be to check your tire pressures manually, and the easiest way to do that is to use an electronic tire pressure gauge. And the final item on our list is 
a quick detailer product. Now a quick detailer is a useful product for people like myself who only drive their supercars or sports cars in good weather, so it's a second car. Now I have a policy whereby my car goes into the garage in the same condition it leaves the garage and it always leaves the garage in immaculate condition or near immaculate condition. And the way to do that easily without washing the car every time you drive it is to use what's called a quick detailer. Now the only times you really need to wash a car is when it's become quite badly soiled or quite dirty. In between those times, you can use what's called a quick detailer. Now the quick detailer I'm gonna recommend here as number five on our last minute top five gifts is the Macquarie's Quick Detailer. To help you find this item, the product number is D15501. So that's Macquarie's D15501 Quick Detailer. Now this Macquarie's Quick Detailer is provided in one gallon containers. Now this one gallon is really two gallons because you dilute it one to one with water. So for every one part Macquarie's Quick Detailer, you put one part water. So you have double the amount really, and this lasts for ages. I mean, I bought a gallon of this about a year and a half ago, I think, and I've still got three quarters of a gallon left. And I use this all the time. Whenever I'm taking my car out and I don't give it a wash, I would say every time I take the car out, I only wash the car once every 10 times when I take the car out. Now, the best way to use this Meguiar's Quick Detailer, and it makes it easier to mix one-to-one -one with water, is to buy yourself a high-quality spray gun. And I here, myself, bought myself a Meguiar spray gun because it's just a no-brainer. The Meguiar spray gun is very good quality. It doesn't have issues where it's gonna clog up and cause you problems downstream. Um, yes, it costs you a bit more than a normal spray gun, but it's a high-end unit um, and it's not that expensive. Now, if you want to buy the Meguiar spray gun, easily online, then just search for M9911 Maguire Spray Gun and you should be able to find it okay. They're fairly inexpensive, but they are high quality. I've been using mine for a couple of years now and I have never had any problems with it at all. And as I say, the container of the spray gun makes it nice and easy to mix one-to-one -one with water. It's, it's again, another no-brainer and nice and easy to use. And the Maguire's Quick Detailer is, is fairly inexpensive as well. It's a high quality product, fairly inexpensive, and it just works. It's, it's a great device and it provides you a whole gallon of the, of the stuff. So you know, it's gonna take you ages before you run out. So you can literally buy this item, buy yourself a decent spray gun and forget about it. And then just use this Quick Detailer when you come back from a trip out in your supercar or sports car. So there you have it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the Rich Reviews Last Minute Top 5 Gifts.